First, take out of all items from the package. The package includes monitor, camera, DC power cord, U bracket, windshield mount, cigarette lighter adapter, antenna, T taps, free or bracket and screws. Pick up the camera. Tear off the protective film on the camera. Install the antenna on the camera. Pick up the monitor. Install the antenna on the back of monitor. Please note, both antennas must be installed on the monitor at the same time. Install the sunshade on the monitor. Follow my operation. Take out the gasket. Attach the spacer to the screw hole on the side of the monitor, to protect the monitor from being scratched. Follow my operation. You need to tear off the circle in the middle of the spacer. Repeat the above operation. Follow my operation. Pick up the U bracket. Align the bracket hole with the screw hole on the side of the monitor. Fix the bracket and monitor with screws. Tighten the screws. Follow my operation. The bracket can be flexibly adjusted. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screws. Pick up the 3M sticker. Tear off the 3M sticker. Paste on the bottom of U-shaped bracket. Tear off the bottom protective film and place it where you want. Connect the power cord to the camera. Connect another power cord to the monitor. Now merge the two thin red wires. Then merge the two thin black wires. Pick up the green connector. Use a tool to loosen the screw. Insert the merged red wire into the positive plus slot of the green connector. Insert the merged black wire into the minus slot of the green connector. Tighten the screws. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the green connector. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. Press the red button. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. The testing finished. Now disconnected all the wires. The easiest way is connect the monitor to cigarette lighter outlet. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. Press the red button. The black wire is connected to the negative of the tail light or 12 VDC power system. The red wire is connected to the positive wire of the tail light or 12 VDC power system. The image appear on the screen. Now introduce the function of the monitor. Touch the power key to turn on, off the screen. Follow my operation. The second and fourth key have no effect in this case. Touch the CH key to switch to the CAM2 channel. Touch the CH key again to switch to the CAM3 channel. Touch the CH key again to switch to the CAM4 channel. Touch the CH key again to switch to the split mode. Touch the CH key again to switch to the CAM1 channel. When you insert the SD card, touch the OK key to turn on or off the video recording function. Touch the menu key to enter the menu mode. The first icon is for pairing signals. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the picture. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the OK key, the icon turns red. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the brightness. Touch the OK key to confirm. You can adjust the brightness, contrast and saturation parameters. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the mirror flip. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to select the mode you want.
Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the mode. Touch the OK key to confirm. You can choose the split mode you want. Touch the OK button to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the cam setup. Touch the OK key to confirm. You can turn on, off the camera channel. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the second icon. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to turn off the camera too. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the SCANTIME. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the SCANTIME. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the auto scan. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to turn on the auto scan. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the system. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the OK key. The icon turns red. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the system data. Touch the OK key to confirm. Follow my operation. You can set the language, AUTODIM etc. parameter. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the P line. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to turn off the guideline. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the menu key to exit the menu mode. The guideline not appear on the screen. Touch the menu key to enter the menu mode. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the mode. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the auto scan. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to turn off the auto scan. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the play. Touch the OK key to confirm. When you insert the SD card, you can view the saved video here. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the record. Touch the OK key to confirm. You can turn on or off the rewrite function, and turn on formatting the SD card. When you insert a new SD card, please format the SD card first. Touch the menu key to exit the menu mode. Touch the CH key to switch to the CAM2 channel. Touch the CH key again to switch to the CAM3 channel. Touch the menu key to enter the menu mode. Touch the OK key to enter the pair countdown. Turn off the camera's power and quickly turn on. The image appears on the screen, indicating that the pairing is successful. Disconnect all wiring. Remove the U-shaped bracket. Pick up the windshield mount. Loosen the screws. Align the bracket with the screw holes on the back of the monitor and slide it in. Tighten the screws. After adjusted the angle, tighten the screws. Place the monitor on the dashboard and pull down the buckle. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets.
Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom.